Pig is a guy, ginger maker, YouTuber. Talking about the types of people in group chats. Pig is a guy, ginger maker, YouTuber. Ikibasho! Welcome, well, people. Welcome back to my channel. Pig is a guy, ginger here, Jamaican YouTuber. In this video, we're talking about the types of people in group chats here in Japan, in particular the lineup, but this can go for any type of group chat that you're in. Once you have a smartphone, you would be in a group chat at least once in your lifetime, whether for work or for casual reasons, you know what I mean? In Japan, the Line app is the most popular app used for messaging here. It is used for companies and workers. I think it's WeTalk or WeChat in China and around the world it's been WhatsApp, iMessage and Telegram. But Line is what we use here in Japan. It has some amazing stickers like this here, Warupan. So please check out the Warupan stickers online. Support the black creatives here and check follow Warupan on Instagram. All right, that's a Jamaican creative you know what i mean not me but jamaican creative jimmy let's speak up yourself yeah all right guys so let's get straight into it now the first type of person in the chat is a gatekeeper as the name suggests they hold the keys to the realm you shall not pass or you may enter that's the type of person they are they ensure that the realm is safe the chat to them is their so they want to make sure the chat is running smoothly they kick out persons they invite people in they maintain it like a moderator or admin so yeah Gatekeeper sometimes abuses their power and get into their feelings. Not everyday feelings, not everyday sensitive. And you know, yeah, sometimes that's to be reined in a bit by the members of the group. But usually the gatekeeper is the person that controls how the, the chat flows. Next, we have the resident troll. Now this person is there just to take the piss out of you. They will trap you in certain ways and they will get into your feelings and press those buttons to get you really annoyed. And at the end of the day, they don't really mean anything by it. They're usually a very nice person in real life. But online behind those keyboards, they're a monster and they get to you real quick. They provide, a, I guess, a form of entertainment for themselves and for some per other person in the group. The newbie is always the one that falls for their trap if they're not warned by the other members of the group. And sometimes they get angry, pissed off and annoyed and leave. But yeah, you gotta have a troll. The trolls are always there, you know? The other type of person that you find in a group chat is a link poster. This person only posts links to YouTube or Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever a link is, they have it. They just post, 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 post. And to other persons, they can be annoyed so some they are a source of great information but you know it's it's a really a toss-up depends on the, if the links are actually contextual and are relevant to the topic oftentimes the link posts just post whatever they want and oftentimes it's self-promotion like me posting youtube links in a particular group but i won't say anything anymore about that because you know <laughs> you know it is what it is y'all need to watch my videos <laughs> the next type of person is a very important person to have in your group chat in Japan or in a, la in a country where you don't speak the native language. This person is fluent in the language or is at least very competent and can provide assistance for you. This is the translator. Listen to me. Countless times a translator has saved me from tattooing a semi seed bone on my shoulder. I don't have tattoos by the way, I'm just saying. They have helped persons with their bank statements or with application forms for the bank or city hall or for health insurance. They are quicker than Google Translate and more contextual and more relevant because sometimes Google Translate doesn't give context to what they're translating, just a literal translation, but the person is usually nuanced or very versed in the, uh, the way the language is spoken and what it actually means, as opposed to Arigato gozaimashita! Dama! translator son. The next type of person is a sensitive sensei. Now, <laughs> this person is always in their feelings and sometimes wrongly so, but at the end of the day, this person keeps other persons, I guess, in check. I, I don't know. I mean, I've been accused of being sensitive. This person also leaves the chat once they feel offended or disrespected or they can't stand what is taking place in the chat at this time. You won't find this person often in a work group chat they won't leave because they're not supposed to because it's for work but in casual groups they leave like this sorry andre right so i mean it is what it is um yeah bye next type of person is the meme lord this person posts the appropriate memes for every situation they have it there for you oh you ate sushi today i got a meme for that oh you're black in japan i got a meme for that oh you counted uh, Jozu Desne, I got a meme for that. They have the meme for every situation that can be applied to in life. Their meme bank must be so huge because they provide an effective way of communicating your feelings. Sometimes that words can't really express by itself. They also provide jokes. They also provide just a good old feeling or to laugh and stuff. Yeah, thank you, meme lord. You're, you're really important now in 2020, especially in this 
lockdown time. All right, the next type of person is a skeptic. Now, this person questions everything and doesn't believe anything you say. They take everything with a grain of salt and say, well, I'm not sure about that. I, I don't really think that's the way it's done and whatever. Even though the evidence might be there to them, they always are measured and calculated in what they say and they always just need the full proof or the full waiting period before they jump to any conclusion actually they don't jump to conclusions they make inferences after all the evidence has been gathered and then they come to a conclusion they don't just jump you know they walk next we have the complainer in japan people complain but then there's a next level done a next level shacho type the boss the tenno summer of complaining that is the complainer oh my god back home i did, 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 did this you know what back home I did it, na 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 na. And you know what? Back home, we don't use da na na. And we don't do this. Oh my god. You know, mm, mm, mm. I am a complainer. I am a complainer. That's a joke for the P. <laughs> because this is Japan. Right, so the complainer complains about things unnecessarily and sometimes becomes a bit of annoyance and grievance to the other members of the group chat. And yeah, usually they're from a particular country. I won't say where, but you know it is. Right, so yeah, be careful, be careful. All right, the next person is similar to the meme lord, but they are they use the emojis because emojis came before memes. And so they post emojis the right way. Sometimes they overuse them, but hey, it's just perfect. Emojis sometimes, most times, all times add the perfect icing on top of the cake of a message or to a reaction and it just makes things so much easier. Emojis are fire. If you can use emojis really well, then you're on your way to being a wonderful Japanese person if you want to be Japanese because Japanese have the emojis down lock. They don't even need the emojis with the animation. They just type it with the, the characters and the special characters and parentheses and stuff. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Way. Next, the other type of person in a group chat that is a recent phenomenon is the lurker. This person only reads the messages. They don't respond in the group at all. They just watch and laugh and probably discuss it with their friend who is in the chat, outside the chat, in the private messages, but they don't talk in the chat. They just read and keep up to date with what's going on. And you know, you have an event, you see them turn up, oh yeah, I'm in a group chat. I'm like, you're who? Oh, you're a lurker. Okay, got you. You know, it's nice to see the lurker in person. I don't even know what's your sense of humor or whatever, but it's fine. So I guess no one cares about posting in the group. Anymore. All right, if you have a group chat and you don't have this type of person, then it's not really a group chat. Every group chat has a conspiracy theorist. This person posts all these crazy, these crazy schemes, these conspiracy stuff. And you're like, bro, how do you even come up with this stuff? Oh, you know what caused this pandemic? The 5G towers. Let's crash these 5G towers. You know what, guys? Listen to me. I went to university and studied international relations. The expert that studied engineering and physics and electronics doesn't know what he's talking about. Listen to me who watched five minutes videos on youtube because i am the authority on all these 5g ways yeah that's pretty much how that person is they find every sort of conspiracy theory and they bring it to the group much to the chagrin of the members there i mean it's whatever you know you need some person who has the tinfoil hat on so that you can have a little balance to the force you know <laughs> next we have the moral compass this person is the one that sets the group on the right path towards righteousness they are the person that guide the group on the winding path of life they keep them focused on their goal of group chat prosperity they keep them on the way that they should go they they are just the persons that keep the group in order without going over the line that's it they say hey guys let's just rein it in a bit that's not the way we should do this you know that person is very important they are like a lower level gatekeeper but without the gatekeeper privileges you know what I mean? mm -hmm. they're like admin without the admin privileges which is good because you don't want one man should not have so much power next we have the flirt it's self-explanatory i'm not going to go into it but this person is all up in these people's dms after adding them to the group chat adding them personally and doing their things you know yeah <laughs> uh and sometimes it makes persons feel uncomfortable yikes now we have the backlogger now this person only reads the backlogs they enter the chat like once a day read the backlog say oh my god that backlog though it is their thing they're always too busy to be in to keep current with the chat but i guess they like to read books or novels because sometimes messages go up to 900 and they're like oh my god 900 messages in this backlog Ooh, let me go and get my tea mm, mm, sauce and then they respond late yeah <laughs> it's really amazing <laughs> also one more person we have the dmer now this person barely talks in the group chat but they would talk to members of the chat in the dms and sometimes it's off-putting you know the topic is rooming 
inside joke. <laughs> then we have the better late than never. This person never responds to being mentioned or tagged or to an actual message that they would have sent. They could have sent a message five, uh, five seconds ago. They respond 20 minutes later laughing to something that was said much earlier in the chat. And you're like, wait, what? Oh, oh it just... Does it make sense? It's called instant messaging for a reason, guys. All right, in the comments down below, let me know if I missed out any types of person in the group chat, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. The live stream will be on Sunday, 10.05 p.m. Japanese Standard Time, which is about 8 or 8 p.m., 8 a.m. Sunday Eastern, or 9 p.m., 9 a.m. Canadian Time. Yeah, let me know. Come through, enjoy yourself. Because guys, you're Jamaican YouTuber.